homeschooling with Camille. I am Camille A. Stalker. I am a homeschool mom of two girls, a first and a third grader, and I am here to take you on our journey of our day in life of homeschooling me. So, uh, guess what? Before I tell you what we're going to get into, I would like you to hit that subscribe and like button and show us some love. Show the Stalker Family Values some love. Thank you so much it would be greatly appreciated so guess what it's friday happy friday and it's earth day so today we are going to be celebrating earth day because i'm not in my usual setting um i'm really filming um earlier than i usually do because we usually go through lessons and then i film uh, but this morning, this Friday morning is different. So I'm going to give you the three people that we've done and then I'll add the fourth person probably at the end. But we are going to do an, um, some Earth Day activities with writing and they're going to um, create their own like a doodle with the earth. And then we're going to go outside into our flower bed and we're going to pull out the weeds. Um, I didn't buy any seeds. Usually I buy seeds and we plant something, but we already have things planted. We just need to um, help the earth, you know? So uh, yeah, we're going to do that. So um, the three people that we did celebrate this week were, oh, and Monday we had an off day because that Sunday was Easter and then Monday, you know, sugar, eggs, the good food that we ate, so we, we took that day off. Um, so on Tuesday, we celebrated Amalia Hernandez. She was a choreographer and she did folklorio dance, which is um, a type of dance that they do in Mexico. And she made it really, really big around the world. Our second person we celebrated is Mary Blair. She worked for Walt Disney. She is a modern, was a modern painter and a colorist. She did um, watercolors. Um, oh, also, because that was Wednesday that we celebrated her, we did do Poetry Wednesday, and this poem was a poem that Ava picked, and it was called Song of Yuhuru, and I do not know how to pronounce his name, but his last name is Pabet, Pabetket. So, uh, yes, beautiful poem, and it's in a, one of our books called uh, Out of Wonder, where they celebrate poets. Um, yesterday, on Thursday, we celebrated Aiko Ishiaka, Ishiaka, and she was a art director and a production designer. She did some work for the Olympics. She won a Oscar. She won a Grammy. Um, and she started off as a graphic designer. Um, she did, was not going into costumes and she was one of the, she's from Japan. And so she was one of the first women who came and, you know, won awards and everything. And everybody thought she won those awards because she was a woman. Guess what? It wasn't because she was good at what she did. So today we are going to get started on our Earth Day activities. So I will show you what we're going to do in a little bit and I'll see you in a little bit. All right. <laughs> If the earth could talk, wait, if the earth could talk, it would say, so what are some things that the earth was, you know, some of the things that the earth is going through. So what would you say? I'm going to give you, I'm going to write down some so you can do it. What are people doing to the earth that is just like, hey, if y'all don't stop, I'm gonna die. It's already dying. You can try. We can stop littering. Pick up your own trash. <laughs> what else? <laughs> So how will we do that? What are some things that cause pollution? Trash. Trash does waste. 
because they're putting it where? Where you know what that place is called? Landfill. Yes. And so the landfills are building up and they're building up. They're and some of the land one of the landfills is in the middle of the ocean. I don't think you should recycle everything, but you should what? Recycle, reuse, 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 and compost. Oh, we should compost. That is actually a good idea instead of throwing it out. Now I have another question. What do you think about these people building homes? What do you have to cut down to build homes? Trees. Trees. And paper. So, what do you think? replant trees but you think there's some trees that have been that take a while to grow so we won't see them until our generations further generations might see it but do you think and the Amazon rainforest all right so here's some things that y'all said Where do fossil fuels come from? Gas makes pollution. Gas does make pollution. But here's the fact. People say that cars make the most air pollution. That's not true. It is waste. It is these landfills. It is the food that we throw away that is not being decomposed back into the ground. Like a banana peel. A banana peel will decompose back into the ground. Um, coffee grinds. Coffee grinds. Things like that. A rotten apple. A rotten apple will compose, but people are not doing what? Composting. We need more Put everything in the what? In the trash. We need more raccoons. <laughs> Maybe. They actually do need it. Does, okay, with Earth Day, does, does it just matter about the Earth or also the animals? Yeah, yeah. What happens, what's happening to animals? Um, they're about to go extinct. There are some are going extinct. They use the skin of ponies, cows, and tigers. Mostly tigers. Oh, that's another thing. You know how people, how we eat meat, yeah. chickens, cows, you know, beef is a cow. With these farmers or these people who have these farms, the toxins from the cows that they have also contributes to the, your footprint, your carbon footprint on Earth, and that's what you're doing. Like, how much energy are you using? How much driving are you doing? How much meat are you eating? Um, we don't consume a lot of meat. No. We consume more vegetables. Meat, vegetables, beans. That's better for the Earth. That's why you have some people who do the Meatless Mondays, or some people do like, I'm gonna do three days, no meat, and then these two days, meat. Um, we fertilizer. Yeah, fertilizer is not good for some of the fertilizer. Let me say that some of the fertilizer that you're that you're putting into the ground is not good. So, yeah. How about let's think about the polar bears. What's happening to oh. the polar bears? So if the 
earth could talk, it would say what? So you have your ideas. It would say, and would it make the earth feel better? And how, well, we're not, this is just a question you don't have to answer that. But do you think if we all did something that we could make the earth feel better? out here um i think i need to go get some gloves for us to really get deep in and pull out these weeds but yeah i think like so we pulled so far on this rock and then we have to get those that's a pretty plant right there it's a pretty plant and then in here this is an ant bed Huge. <gasps> They're gonna go back in because we're not gonna be. I'm naked. And they're cute. Look at them. These girls. Well, I just have to pick some. Alright, so as you can see, we watered our plants, we pulled up some weeds, we did not pull up all the weeds, so, but it's fine, it's okay, we're gonna get to it, we need some gloves, um, right now, it did get a little hot, so right now, they are having their lunch. Um, the fourth person uh, that they did choose, her name is Wang Jin Yi, she was an astronomer, a poet, and a mathematician. Um, she was the person who knew, came up with the solar eclipse, so... Wang Jin Yi. Um, also today they did write um, about if the earth could talk, it would say. And the papers were pretty good. Um, stop littering and pick up your trash. Uh, it was some good, they, their things were funny. Uh, like the earth was mad and she's fussing at us. And then what else? And then they did do a doodle for their earth day. So that was pretty cool. They had the earth, big eyes, and they did a doodle for that. And that was all we did. Now we are about to end the lesson. And so, as always, I pray y'all have a blessed day. And I pray you have a blessed week. I pray you have a blessed weekend. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.